A hot question lately has been, how do you gain the experience to become the best technician you can be? And while this is about technicians, the same goes for engineers. In fact, I just had someone ask in the comments, I just got my electrical engineering degree, what should I do to polish up my resume? And you guys hate my answer when I say it, but I say it with your best intentions in mind is, go get a job as a maintenance technician. And their response was, I just paid $70,000 for an electrical engineering degree. I can do better than that. It's not about doing better. It's about gaining that broad experience to make you stand out. My name is Tim and I help you become a better technician mainly by teaching you how to troubleshoot PLC controlled machines. But just because we're working with PLCs doesn't mean we don't need to understand the rest of the process. And if you are in a technician position, you are gonna be exposed to way more than you ever learned in school. Like I've told you many times, I have a mechanical background and I always joke that I wasn't really good at and that's how I end up in controls. And that's partially true, but also I attribute much of my control success to my mechanical background because I have an understanding of those parts. And for example, one of my early projects had a hydraulic unit. And when I looked at it, I couldn't understand what they were doing because really we're taking a pump and we're building 2000 PSI and then we're running it directly into a relief valve and dropping it to, I don't know, 1200 PSI. And then we have this extra line going back and it's going through a cooler and we're dumping it right back to the tank. And I'm like, man, we just seem to be wasting a ton of energy here. But I, I didn't understand that, okay, if you dead hit a pump, you're gonna overheat the oil. If you overheat the oil, you're gonna get dirt in the oil. If dirt gets into the pump impellers, it's gonna grind them up and you're gonna have shorter life. I didn't understand those things. Or pneumatics, we're gonna build pressure and then run it through a water separator, which in my mind was liquid, and then we're gonna put it into a tank, then we're gonna run it through an oiler, which is gonna put liquid right back into it, and then we're gonna drop the pressure back down again. And it's like, okay, why build higher pressure and remove liquid just so we can put liquid back in it and drop the pressure back down? None of it really made sense. So when I say get you a job as a maintenance technician, and I really mean like be the low person on it as in you're going out there greasing bearings, changing filters, having to beat the bearings off the shafts when they're bad or realizing that, oh, since this wasn't changed in time, we burnt this pump up. I mean that because that is gaining you the experience that you're gonna need to build the most reliable equipment or design the most reliable equipment. And that's gonna make you desirable out in the field. Hopefully that quick tip is helpful and I'm gonna start recording videos on this pneumatic system. If you wanna check that out, then here's a playlist on it.